Dave? We invited Dave. Right? Yeah, we, we, yeah. 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 we invited Dave. He has a final. Is he going to come at 4.30 or not? He might have to make it at 4.30, but he has a final. I told him he probably won't be here, but I'll let him know. So, oh, so okay. you guys go ahead. Okay, All great. Right. Cool. So, is it recording now? Okay. So my name's Andy Miller. I was the project manager. And we had Eric, Lindsay, Matt, and Tyler, who are also working on this project. Okay. Uh, Tyler's unable to be here with us today. He had a family emergency. He had to leave Utah. Um, but today we'll just review the, the scope of our initial objective to what we wanted to accomplish for you guys. Some challenges that we faced, the key accomplishments we were able to uh, work out through this okay. semester, and some vision that we have for GoTown going forward. Okay. Uh, so I actually chose to work on this project. We could all choose from a bunch of different projects. We have like a list of like 40 different things. I chose this because I actually used ammonia inhalants in high school. Oh, you school. did? Yeah. When I was, oh. I actually had a personal trainer. His name's John Davis. He trains NFL athletes, MMA fighters. And in, in all of our trainings, he would have us smell some ammonia before our big lifts. Really? So I was all familiar with it. And I was like, that's sweet. I liked it. So I, I wanted to have an opportunity to try it out. Um, so some of the key accomplishments, if you go to the next, oh, introduction first. Yeah. So uh, we're given the goal to mainly focus on the, the social media efforts for you guys. Uh, so Lindsay has had a background in, uh, in generating uh, Facebook accounts, and she okay. actually manages her, her social media uh, campaign for her father's law firm. So we relied a lot on her expertise and her skills in that area. And we wanted to hopefully spread the word and have some events and mainly, mainly focus on like the, the college atmosphere, right. get people involved there, and maybe find some horses, some marketing horses that we could find that would be able to associate the brand with elite athletics or maybe gaming or potentially maybe MMA fighting. Because that's generally where these right. money handles are used. Uh, so first talk about some of our... Uh, Key accomplishments. So, one of the things that we found out about is. Uh, so, I want to these. Next. No, you did the Facebook. So, you guys are yeah. the ones that did all that that I was looking at. I didn't. Yes. All these guys. It's the no, okay. brain right here. Yeah. Um, and we we actually created several different types of databases to uh, relay uh, future into into the future after after we leave go time. So we have a database of all the potential sales leads in Utah's and local states. Um, so all the local gyms, all the local uh, C stores, um, and all the supplement and sports geared stores. And we also have a database for um, a lot of the upcoming events that you guys would want to sponsor and okay. to uh, create that brand awareness to associate it with Elite Athletics. And we also came up with a database of video ideas and different marketing strategies um, that you could use when you create those videos to get people to associate your brand with elite athletics and with increased performance. Um, so we'll have all that information polished in okay. PDFs for you guys um, in the next coming week. Um, but we just wanted to, so we, I, I had like a, I was thinking like huge, cause I was like, I love this product, um, but we faced some challenges that sort of, uh, Hindered our progress. Well, the so, product's not even come in the boxes till this week, right? Right. So yeah, that was. So we, we had some issues. So a lot of what we did was just market research. Right. Because it's it's hard to get people to like something that they've never tried. Never before. tried. Yeah. But what we did do uh, in the first couple of weeks, we actually weren't sure who was actually in our group in the beginning. Um, there was like issues with the class, like people were getting in and out of the groups, um, and then we had the issues with the manufacturing and the shipping. Uh, we heard that the glass, the, the, then, the, yeah. then the glass and the cutting the boxes, the boxes right. went right and then right. they got stuck at the border. Gives you a good experience of what it's like to start a company. Right, exactly. It's always 10 times, you know, <laughs> you plan in January, longer. Yeah. longer. Yeah. That's right. And with, we, had, we had some events planned um, for beginning of April right. and then all the way up into finals week. Right. Um, and we've also contacted some clubs at UVU and BYU. Right. That, that's the main way, that's the main avenue you'll be able to sure. get onto a college campus, is if you sponsor a club or some way. Then you pretty much have free reign through the club. So does Dave know a lot of these things prior? Oh, yes, he does. Okay. We've been meeting with him weekly. Okay. Um, so that, with, with actually go back. So with, with uh, 
those issues with not getting the product, it sort of decreased the event sure. opportunities that we had. Yeah, it's understandable. Um, and then also with our posts, um, we've we created a database of attack ads against other competitors that you have. Um, and Which is also, good. Yeah. Because they're different. So we want to pump up the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've come up with a, 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 sorry, a bunch of different um, attack ads, but also ads showing elite athletes using this product, like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, right. Brett Favre. All those guys have used it on video. Yeah. Um, so we were we were going to start posting these things and saying things about your product, but Dave let us know that the lawyer had some issues about what we could technically say. Yeah. So as soon as we found that out, then Dave put us on the task of going to the periodical section at BYU to find some peer-reviewed journals that could back up your claims. Okay. Which we did. So we gave them, we gave oh, okay. them about, uh, I think, eight different periodicals that supported the claims that he was worried about, and then about ten more. That he oh, good. So you can put them more. online then. Right. Good. So we got uh, some more that you could do some more research on in the periodicals to, if you wanted to find some more <coughs> evidence if the government comes after you for anything or becomes a right, right. You'll, be, you'll be able to have some, some backup. Uh, so we have just some main conclusions. Uh, we recommend that you continue to use Facebook, Twitter um, to uh, just spread the word about your product, let people know about it. Um, we think it is a, a great resource. Um, there are some, we found Rebel Mouse. It's uh, just a website that gives about, goes about uh, explaining some strategies that you can use on the social media that tends okay. to get a lot of people discussing about the right. product or involved in whatever event you're throwing. Um, and then our main recommendation, um, just from what we've seen in, in talking to people, is to focus your marketing and your brand schematic on associating the brand with elite athletics and gaming. I feel like those, that's the reason I like the product a lot, and I feel like that's where most people would be most What about the accepted. issue that a lot of truckers would use the product, you know, for truck, because uh, for, you know, when you want to just kind of be more alert for an hour versus five hours, right? I mean, that's that's a huge market. We know you got to you gotta position a anything on that. I mean, any thoughts on that at all? I honestly haven't been able to talk to many truckers. Okay. But yeah. just, just from what Dave told us about his experience going to trade show at the trade show, uh, we felt like you may have better opportunities in, in the other yeah. uh, industries. Um, but that's just that's our perspective. Maybe okay. you learn more about trucking. Maybe there, there's something more there that we don't know. Um, yeah, so then we came up with some really good ideas to create some YouTube videos. Okay. And we had some connections through Tyler, who's not here today. He's actually um, friends with some people who have lots and lots of views on YouTube. Like each right. of videos gets like 10 million views. Um, so it would be a really relatively cheap way to get brand awareness and to establish yourself in the marketplace immediately. Um, so we'd love to, to see you guys create a video right. based on our ideas. Um, Dave is familiar with them. We yeah, brainstormed yeah. with him. Um, and then we, we have a, a big list of events but these are the two main ones that are coming up relatively soon that we think you Gaming can... convention, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that, there's it's called the Salt Fest. So it's, uh, they also, besides just gaming, they also have like fashion and they have other, other literature competitions. Right. Um, so they, I just actually spoke with a lady today. She told me the price, $1,000, comes with a 10 by 10 space. You can put whatever you want there. You can, they'll supply the samples directly to the guests at the hotel. Um, so everyone will be able to have a chance to actually get it in their hands. Um, and then you're open to sell your product. So you can do whatever you want there. We give them four badges. Um, I don't have all the Iron Man information. We had a, a chat right. about it, but it wasn't made public last year. Um, but there's tons of other events that you can do. Right. We didn't uh, do that many about uh, trucking conventions. Uh, so that's something that you guys can do more research on. Sure. Um, so this is just a, a final review of the recommendations that we have. Continue using the, the social media. Um, 
angle to spread word about your product. Uh, to watch YouTube videos through those connections that we have yeah. with Tyler, that Dave, Dave also has, he has those connections. Um, find some events that you'll be able to associate your brand relatively quickly uh, with the uh, elite athletics idea, right. and then to utilize the, the marketing horses that we've been able to find. So specifically, uh, we've, been, we've spoken with, have you heard of the pit it's a fighting gym in Orem. Oh, okay. So. And they're actually one of the, the most successful gyms in the West Coast. Okay. In the West. They have a lot of their fighters going into the MMA, becoming very popular, very successful fighters. I know you go to UVU to watch the cage fights. Yeah, actually, I I've went to I've been to there. I, went, I, I went, did one every week. You were in the cage, right? No, I was <laughs> <laughs> I actually went last semester to one of their fights. Yeah, I did um, a semester too. And... So we, we've spoken with Jan Jorgensen. Yeah. So he used to be a BYU uh, right. defensive cool. end. I saw him fight. That's the one I went to. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we spoke with him, and he said he used ammonia inhalants when he played for BYU. Yeah. So he said, I'd, I'd love to use them before I fight. You know, I can put it on my shorts. You right. know, I have a banner behind me. Uh, yeah. Right now, he's he's 6-0, and and he's rated yeah. the second best heavyweight that's not in the MMA right now. Right. So he's about to go into the MMA. And he doesn't have a manager. He wants to manage it himself, so that generally means it'll be cheaper. And if we get him before he gets into the MMA, right. we establish that connection with him, that could be, that could be really popular. Yeah, good point. Um, and then we've also spoken with uh, one of Tyler's friends, his name is Pat Mendez. He actually holds the, is it the U.S. record? For, yeah, it's for weight. The, yeah. yeah, for the clean and jerk. He's an Olympic weightlifter, right? Yeah, he's competing in weightlifter. Brazil. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what he said. So we feel like those are the main horses that we've been able to find um, that you'll be able to connect with that are already in industries that use this type of product. So and it's a little cheap. Yeah. Um, and that's our presentation. That's okay. what we've been able to accomplish. Can you questions? show what you've done on the uh, Twitter account? Can, did you set that up the the um, on the Facebook and that? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you show me that? I'd just like to see that. Also, the salt convention on there said it's April 10th and 11th. Correct. The salt convention yeah, kind of is cool because it's salt, it's right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's oh. a way you can play meant, on that. Meant, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, smelling so, salt, salt, salt convention. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Connect it in. Well, you just talked about the tan. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've been out there in the sun for a while. A couple days, right? A weekend or two? Sorry. The banner. Would you guys have a problem? Marketing it to younger audiences. Well, we don't want to stress that. Okay. I think, yeah, I, I, you know, I think there'll be enough pull down that we don't need to stress it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Stop.